Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Tuesday, April the 24th. It's year two, it's week three in Easter, and it's week two in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalms 26 and 28. Matthew chapter 3, verse 7 through 12. And the concluding prayer is from Collects for the Easter season from the book Lesser Feasts and Fasts. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, give judgment for me, O God, for I walk the path of perfection. Alleluia. Psalms 26 and 28. Give judgment for me, O God, for I walk the path of perfection. I trust in you, I have not wavered. Examine me and try me, test my heart and my mind. For your love is before my eyes, and I walk according to your truth. I never take my place with liars, and with hypocrites I shall not go. I hate the evildoer's company. I will not take my place with the wicked. To prove my innocence, I wash my hands and take my place around your altar, singing a song of thanksgiving and proclaiming all your wonders. O oh God, I love the house where you dwell, the place where your glory abides. Do not sweep me away with sinners, nor my life with bloodthirsty people, in whose hands are evil plots, whose right hands are filled with gold. And as for me, I walk the path of perfection. Redeem me and show me your mercy. My foot stands on level ground. I will bless you in the assembly. To you, O God Most High, I call. My rock, hear me. If you do not heed, I shall become like those in the grave. Hear the voice of my pleading as I call for help, as I lift up my hands in prayer to your holy place. Do not drag me away with the wicked, with the evildoers who speak words of peace to their neighbors, but with evil in their hearts. Repay them as their actions deserve and the malice of their deeds. Repay them for the work of their hands. Give them their deserts. For they ignore your deeds and the work of your hands. May you ruin them and never rebuild them. Praise to you, my God. You have heard my cry, my appeal. You, God, are my strength and my shield. In you, my heart trusts. I was helped, my heart rejoices, and I praise you with my song. You are the strength of your people, a fortress where your anointed finds refuge. Save your people, bless Israel, your heritage. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Give judgment for me, O God, for I walk the path of perfection. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 3, beginning at verse 7. But when John saw many Pharisees and Sadducees coming for baptism, he said to them, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bear fruit worthy of repentance. Do not presume to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our ancestor. For I tell you, God is able from these stones to raise up children to Abraham. Even now the axe is lying at the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. I baptize you with water for repentance, but one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire, and his winnowing fork is in his hand, and he will clear his threshing floor and will gather his wheat unto the granary, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions for God's people throughout the world, for our church leaders, especially Tom and Alan, Ray and Richard and Don, for this gathering, for all clergy and ministers, and for all people. For peace in Jerusalem, and in all the world, 
for goodwill among the nations and for the well-being of all people, for justice and peace, for the poor and the sick, the hungry and the oppressed, for those in prison, especially Christian, and for those in any need or trouble, for the mercy of God community, and for all who seek God or a deeper knowledge of God, that they may find and be found. I ask your prayers for the departed, especially Charles, and for all who've died. We praise God for those in every generation in whom Christ has been honored, that we have may have grace to glorify Christ in our own day. For the unemployed, especially Robert and Carrie and Bill. For the aged and the infirm, especially Marjorie and Ronald Francis. That God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of all who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O oh God, by the abundance of your grace, you unfailingly increase the number of your children. Look with favor upon those whom you have chosen to be members of your church, that having been born again in baptism, they may be granted a glorious resurrection. In Jesus' name we pray. 